Hey guys, John Adams, Modern Design Aquascaping. Our team builds custom ponds, fountains, and waterfalls out of natural stone and wood. My goal is to educate and inspire the world about ponds and water features. Today's video is part two of the farm pond build. It's almost part three because we made another video. I'm going into that. Okay, part one, the last one we put out was an intake bay on a farm pond. We did the intake and we did the overflow out of the natural pond where it runs down the hill. Part two is the wetland filter and the waterfall that goes back into the farm pond. We also did another video about how we build a wetland filter on the same project. So more nitty gritty there. And if you really want to learn about how we build a wetland filter, keep following. I am going to put this video together where we do the time lapse of the whole thing. And I'm going to voice over that and I'm going to try to do a lot of teaching in that video. So keep your eye out for the time lapse teaching video on the wetland filter. It's coming, I promise, as soon as I can get to it. So you guys enjoy this video. Do me a favor, before it's over with, hit the like button if you think it's good. Hit the subscribe button so that you always get something great from our channel. And follow my boys on Facebook. If you wanna see what we do day by day as we're doing construction projects live, Tristan and Nick are doing live Facebook posts almost every day on the construction end of things. I'm gathering it all together and doing more comprehensive videos on our YouTube channel. I'm yapping too much. Enjoy the show. Like, comment, subscribe. Later. I don't know the name of the artist, but this awesome duck right here is built out of famous kitchenware. Never heard anything like it. So he told me that uh, all famous people, like there's pieces from Amarillo and all kinds of, I don't even say their names right, but all kinds of famous chefs have provided a piece of their kitchenware in order to create this stainless steel duck statue. And the gentleman who built it has recently passed away, so this will be one of the last. Apparently there's two of these ducks. This one is forever planted here in Nashville, Tennessee. So, right in the center of our job site is a stainless steel duck. I don't know how he goes with Jurassic Pond, but super cool. The thing's probably 10 feet tall of a stainless steel duck made out of pots and pans. I'm just saying. I know this is a little crazy, but we're out here on our Nashville project. We're overworking. We got the intake done on this side. We're getting ready to, to uh, start putting the liner in on the wetland filter. And there's some guys here working on Jurassic Park. So I'm gonna go up here and ask them if it's okay if I uh, 
shoot a little video of the stegosaurus they're bringing in. Total. Nice and lucky number seven. All right, Nick. You can be like, go and get it. Okay, <laughs> there goes the shake. That's seven. That's the first one I've jumped in after. So there we go. Back on you, boss. Very nice. You're next. <laughs> Game on. Okay, back to work. Game on.
can see it's almost a straight line. From where Nick measured the, the 72, it's a straight line to the back side of the electrical pole. And then from there it sweeps out and we're about 48 inches off the back of the wetland filter running in a straight line. So it's straight here, one angle straight over there. And she's about, she's got 12 inches of, of soil over top of her everywhere. body feels it but looking at it it's just awesome glad I got to be a part of it awesome guys so hope you enjoyed this video from Jurassic Pond do me a favor if you thought it was great give us a thumbs up down there if you have any questions comments or concerns put them in the comment section and of course subscribe to our channel because who else gets to build awesome custom waterfall projects where there's dinosaurs just saying later <laughs>